Hello. In the first part of this video, we installed DHCP service rule in server 1, 192.168.1.1, and configure the scope to make the IP addresses available to the clients. Now we are going to create high availability DHCP failover in Windows Server 2000 R2. In previous Windows operating systems, such as Windows Server 2008 and 2003, you have two general options if you want to make DHCP high available. Windows Fillover Cluster and Split Scopes. Okay. In Windows Fillover Cluster, you can install DHCP on a two nodes of Windows Fillover Cluster, so that the second server takes the load if the primary server fails. This option uses shared storage and require additional investment for ensuring storage redundancy. In the split scope, we use two DHCP server to share responsibility for the same scope based on defined percentage of scope IP addresses for each server. 50-50 percentage or 80-20 percentage if clients can't reach the primary server they will get their ip configuration from the secondary server when the server 2000 r2 simplifies and improves dhcb availability by introducing a dhcb fillover new feature to the dhcb rule services dhcb fillover enables to dhcb server to share dhcb service dhcb fillover works by replicating the ip addresses lease and setting in one or more dhcb scopes from a primary dhcb server to a fillover partner server so it's provide dhcb service availability at all time on the enterprise network and if a dhcb server is no longer reachable the dhcb client is able to extend the lease on its current ip addresses by contacting another dhcb server on the enterprise network so let's jump into the configuration steps i created another server the name is server2 and the IP is 192.168.1.2 and install DHCB only without any configuration. So let's go to server 1 to start the failover. Open DHCB console, right click on scope and select configure failover. If you need to configure the failover for all scope or you have only one scope, check select all and press next but if you have many scopes and you need to configure the failover for one or two scope and check select all box and select the scope and press next add partner server server 2 next relationship name is descriptive and can be anything that help you to identify the relationship maximum client lead time determine the amount of time a dhcb server should wait when a partner become unavailable before assuming control of the address range select the failover mode the dhcb failover allow you to choose between load balance mode and hot standby mode the load balance mode active active allow both servers in partnership to serve the DHCB client and it's the default way of configuring DHCB flower. If one DHCB server fail, the other will continue to lease addresses until the first DHCB server returns to services. Hot standby mode, active passive. Only one server serves DHCB request for clients. The active server leases IP addresses and configuration information to client. The secondary server only performs this function in the event that the primary is not available. I will use load balance mode which is a default mode of operation. State switch over interval. Control how long standby server waits after losing communication with primary server 
before assuming active state and serving DHCB client. It's not important factor in load balance mode as both server can serve a client based on defined percentage of scope IP addresses. In hot standby mode, it will be important to select or standby server will not switch over automatically and the admin need to switch over manual. Enable message authentication to secure the communication between DHCP partner servers. If enabled, you must specify the shared secret. Okay, next. Review your configuration and press finish to create the failover configuration. All the jobs are completed successfully. Close. Let's go to the partner server, server 2, and open DHCB console to check and make sure the failover configuration replicated. The scope replicated. Right click on IP version 4 to check the failover status. As you see, all configuration replicated in the right way. The name of failover relationship. Edit. Everything is fine as shown. Let's go to client to check. Open the network center. And make sure the TCP IP setting. Set to obtain the IP address automatically through DHCP server. Open cmd and type ibconfig slash all to check all tcp ip settings as you see the ip address from our range and the gateway to also this client list ib gateway and dns from the dhcp server 192.168 dot one dot one server one let's check another client open cmd type ip config slash all to check as you see this client lethal ip setting from the dhcb server 192.168.1.2 server two let's go to server one to know how to remove or delete the failover configuration Open the DHCP console, right click on IP version 4 and select properties. Highlight the relationship name on the failover tab and then click delete. Click OK to confirm. Delete it successfully. Close. I hope you have enjoyed. Many thanks and see you in the next video.